Hi, welcome to Hackintosh Factory. In this video, I want to show you how to install Mac OS Big Sur on Dell Optiplex 9010IO motherboard, Core i7-3770S CPU, and Intel HD 4000 graphics. First, you need to download and install Python, Mini Tool Partition Wizard, Belina Etcher, and Mac Drive 11 Trial. After installation, you need to reboot your PC. Also, you can download all these files and EFI folder for this hardware for free. Check link in the description. Now, open the Belina Etcher. Click on Flash from File. Select the BigSir.raw file. Then, select your target USB drive and flash it. Now, open the Minitool Partition software and find EFI Partition on USB drive. Right click on it. Select Change Letter. Click OK. Then, apply the changes. If you got this error and can't open the EFI drive, don't worry, you can be fixed it easily. Click on Windows menu and type Edit Group Policy and hit Enter to open it. In Computer Configuration, go to Windows Settings, then Security Settings and Local Policies. And finally, click on Security Options. Find Admin Approval Mode. Open it and select Disable. Click on OK. Now find Run All Administration and Admin Approval and open it. Select Disabled and click on OK. Now you need to restart your Windows. As you can see problem is solved. Now you can access to EFI partition and main installation drive. Now you need to copy paste the pre-built EFI folder on the USB drive's EFI partition. Now open the GenSM BIOS.bat file. Type 1 and press enter. Type 2 and press enter. 
Now, you need to drag and drop config.plist file on the terminal window. Press enter. Type 3 and press enter. Type this Mac model name. Press enter. Restart your computer to apply your BIOS settings and then boot up the USB drive. Select Disk Utility and click on Continue. Open View Menu and click on Show All Devices. Select the drive that you want to format and install macOS on. Type a name for your installation disk. Please subscribe on Hackintosh Factory channel if you didn't yet. Select the partition format as APFS and click on Erase. Close Disk Utility and click on Install Mac OS and Continue. Now, follow the installation steps.
That's done. Apply your setup settings and finish the installation process. Now you need to copy paste the pre-built EFI folder from the USB drive on the EFI partition of Mac OS disk. We will publish a newer EFI config folder and installation tutorial in newer version of Mac OS for this configuration as soon as possible. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe on Hackintosh Factory channel.